നമസ്കാരം നമസ്തേ വി ആർ ഓൺ എ ടോപ്പിക് വിച്ച് കൻ ബി ഇന്റർപ്രറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ഡിഫറെന്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഓഫ് വ്യൂ ഇൻ ഡിഫറെന്റ് പെർസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് ഫ്രം ഡിഫറെന്റ് പീപ്പിൾ നോയിങ്ലി ഐ ഗേവ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് ടൈറ്റിൽ വെരി very generic so that the idea can be drawn to derive what is that we need to do for a real change this was triggered by few people you know most of the people who i know they know me i don't start any discussion picking up ideas from the heaven somebody comes to me for a discussion and that triggers for some thoughts and that thought is what make me to do these sort of discussions it so happened the other day i was discussing with somebody and um, the socio change how does it influence the youth education the academics in general the perspective in which they wanted to look at as an educator as a student how is it going to change how is the cognitive factors need to be adjusted so that it can influence the behavior how is the situational factors are inbuilt in the cognitive part the question was on social cognitive theory and psychology of education generally how does it we had a long discussion on that subject and then vaguely i was mentioning few topics which could discuss around it i believe the the human behavior which is determined by the environment factors personal factors and the behavior the behavior is what we do in the training program for skill development improving self efficiency the practices which we have school education is supposed to provide that behavioral factors traditionally we need uh, education very very uh, disciplined way school is where we learn discipline that is what generally parents say that is why we have a fixed time you have to be there otherwise punishment right and so many it is not your mind and the intelligence the manas and the buddhi the sensory organs enriching your life itself with a lot of knowledge it is not empowering yourself or elevating yourself expanding all that doesn't happen uh, almost the same day maybe 10 years back i was in a nit for with a big project of making a satellite in nit the idea is not to make satellite the idea is to make students to think in these lines so that their science will improve the technical skill will be used in different portions but today i am sure if i go with that the takers will be less because they look at not after doing it do i get a job maybe that is the question which people will ask because the whole education system has been tuned for getting a job employing somebody so it is it is the way people have considered education as traditionally it is internally igniting there is an external personality development and there is an internal personality development that internal personality development is making you to internally become cheerful but when we look at youth today we see them totally gloomy no it is not atma samgraha which is happening the integration is not there even introspection is not there they are not even worried about the way they go 
they are not even thinking about how things will happen that is because i told you earlier it's like subordinating is what is learning if you are more sophisticated you are more uh, disciplined you are more educated you are very open it's like a military or administration because education was made for selecting people for military selecting people for administration so your aim should be either to join in military either to join in administration or maybe if you are not good for that factory workers factory workers also are like that at a given time the factory runs at the after that you go so education also has become like that it is all testing ranking awarding qualifying factory also runs like that if you are not good it is rejected item is rejected product is not good so this is in the same way i keep calling probably education system is like um school education has become test preparation factories because students have to prepare for examination and teachers job is to prepare them for examination so academic institutions are like test preparation factories and you cannot be creative your own way of learning is not there though we call it as flexible even in a place like america the normal uh, de schooling they call it as de schooling and uh, home schooling had lot of difficulties because with that high educated parents group they had these home schooling worries parenting worries and what happened to us the home schooling counselors could help to some extent so how is it going to happen in case if india has to look at it i don't think it will happen that easily it's almost a year last year january i tried to make the grandma child care center for young children even that is not accepted because uh, if children are year 3 and a half or 2 and a half they must be put for nursery lkg ukg otherwise world is not good even higher education has become so worst earlier at least uh, there is an option for uh, students to read seminars such things happen but today i am seeing even in higher education the teachers give notes and the notes are being asked for examination and you write you get good marks you are a good student otherwise graduation and post graduation should be like student should become learners and that is not happening so how do we make these differences where should we start how can we do this is one question which i had and the other part to us the great philosophical words like you know cognitive sociological uh, theories and all that so we had a lot of discussions and therefore i thought maybe a more generic discussion on social atmosphere change how it should happen what is the science of change in education how do you change the behavior pattern what are the cultural conflicts which people can have and what are the norms and frames and formats in which education has to be looked at the behavior how do we make it with uh, the language learning though we have uh, english as secondary or third not a native language many people have this problem they are not very good in communicating english they don't even grasp english when the english speakers speak so there is lot of adjustment problems even if you have a half an hour lecture if you ask them to uh, brief it they don't have these points with them because they have been tuned in academics for learning taking notes giving notes rereading that to understand by hearing listening they don't understand things and how is this development of five fold development which i keep talking about physical emotional intellectual social spiritual development happens there are internal development happens because of spirituality how do we make a stable world with a lot of harmony all these were to be run by the teachers therefore i kept the title as teachers role in new social atmosphere the science of behavior tips on micro changes we are not policy makers so i cannot say that india must do this that is not what i am looking at as an individual to one or two people around me how do i make a small uh, 
change so that I can show there is a sample like this you will be able to look at it so I kept it not with the speakers I thought I will introduce like this and leave it to um, each of you to deliberate on this maybe we will share some ideas if required we could go for a number of such sessions to uh, learn relearn unlearn all that can happen right? today also when we look at seminars it is one monologue which i don't generally believe you know i love questions and discussions and answers like that so i open it maybe whoever is volunteer for this can reflect on this we can have uh, maybe take some five minutes to brief what you wanted to say so that the rest of the people can comment and maybe react to that uh, i invite Anyone who is ready to speak on this can unmute and then speak. Not takers? Is it not a topic of interest? You just joined because Dr. T P S called or what? Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm. Uh, I completed my graduation recently and. Um, uh, I have to say something. Uh, before that, first of all, I would like to ask the difference between personality and individuality. The individuality is yes. I, I I don't have a social perspective. Nobody looks at me from different angles. Personality is something like which I have to polish little bit to show that I am accepted by people. The persona is itself a cover. So you are not exposing yourself. Individuality is without any cover you individual. That may be in your bathroom you are an individual. But I am sure when you come to your parents you have a personality of a daughter. When you go to schools and colleges you have a personality of a student or a teacher or a faculty or what job you do. So personality is more social. Like what is the difference between earth and world? Earth is the true earth nature. World is what people make over it. So there is a makeover in you, which you, the way you want to present yourself, which cannot be uh, removed. You are part of the society, so you have another commitment of being with the society. So personality is a better word than using individuality. Though we say that we are simple, we cannot be so simple. Right? We need to be little sophisticated. Otherwise, we cannot live in this world. So, being slightly sophisticated, being slightly artificial, being uh, no uh, like a diplomat, being diplomatic is also personality. So, personality is the way you present yourself. That is why we say it's a it's a mask. So, what you are inside is individual. When you put the mask, how do you present yourself is the personality. So that's why I keep saying it is not external personality, but it's internal. What we do is there are a lot of people who pretend that they are happy. They are smiling. They are showing that they are happy. Right? But they are not happy themselves. See, for example, today when you look at Facebook, I am in Facebook. You will see a lot of people getting the best teachers award in the world. Who has evaluated him? See, Dr. TPS also can give an award to Athira saying that you are the best individual in the world. What credential I have to give such an award? And you post it to your Facebook and then 100 people will say, very good, very good. Right? Doctorates is, I know the difficulty of getting a doctorate. But today, every buffalo in the Facebook gets doctorate, honorary, including me, somebody has given a doctorate. I cannot reject it, you know. World peace. I don't know what I have done for world peace. I have not done any, anything for world peace. Right? But, see, this is, this is actually mockerizing. You have a lot of people who advertise themselves. They are in greed of getting some awards. They are in greed of getting certificates. See, if you come to my house, you will see that Adria has seen my house, right? You have got maybe 10 lakhs of shelf. I prepared for putting my uh, all the presentations and gifts which has given all over, all over the world. I have three houses like that. In all the three houses, I have got probably that many number of presentations. It's all stupid. Because today in my house, nobody comes. Where do I show? Where do I see this? And how does it matter? See, it's all external. Right? 
we have to because that is the way you can promote motivate somebody that is that is required but that is only external but internally are you happy when you look at yourself what am i doing if you if you become little more matured you will start thinking and say what am i doing like this every day goes very simply but at the end of the day i must feel that yo i made change for five people that is what my contribution to education i have been into different institutions working teaching but then what is that i contributed in the education i may have only five students or 10 students to count and say these people i made something in their life the rest of the people are all you got money that's it you got a power you got a position you got some administrative job otherwise you don't have anything to contribute because the system is like that so i cannot run away from the system but do can i do something externally to make some small change to somebody else that is my individuality the internal individuality or internal development of me as a teacher so there is an external teacher which people recognize but there is an internal teacher whom i wanted to be like this that is the feeling which i have so for every aspect you have every aspect you have very good question atra uh, also you can say um like uh, leaving the responsibility of the students life to themselves may make a change in their um, in their day to day activities and of course uh, the part they choose like that um no i didn't get what exactly you are looking for okay i uh, leaving the responsibility of their own life but to the uh, students like a uh, parents not not choosing the part which do not to go or the uh, teachers are not imposing something rather than uh, people are given choices then uh, free choices i suggest then, i suggest athira yesterday when i posted yeah. to this um, posted to this to many people a brilliant person has suggested to see one movie which says class dismissed <coughs> class dismissed that is on home schooling what is the conflict a parent has a child has in america and how do we make our child as a different individual leaving them to their choices what are all the problems with that beautiful and when i looked at home schooling documentaries deal schooling doc- documentaries very 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 good um, movies are there documentaries are there i think any answer from me will not be able to answer like that and then there is another book by john holt that is also referred in that movie that's why i i did not get that book but i read some of the reviews of that how children fail and uh, that is his book another book is instead of education so these two books beautiful right so there are thinkers on this line even the other day when i was having a seminar in usmani university one of the alumni of usmani university engineering college conducted a program they have a alumni association guiding the present children so i was giving a talk and the person who was organizing is from america and he himself he is not sending his children to schools they are see if you want to go to higher education higher education you need to pass examination to pass that examination you can prepare your children at home it's like entrance examination right education is not compulsory but in india you cannot do that why india cannot do that that easily because if education is not compulsory most of the parents will not send their children to education they will keep at home they don't even get educated right but in a developed nation in the nation like america it is possible and that is being done many parents today number 2 because every parent is responsible for taking their children to academics bringing them back they cannot send them to auto rickshaw buses and all that there is an individual responsibility here responsibility can be different the responsibilities are different social system is different so we cannot copy that but there are a lot of things which we can learn and discuss and think and from that 
I expect uh, people to uh, discuss. Understand what she is saying, what she is feeling, what she is hearing, and everything like that. But as as the child grows, then you know she she understands, or the baby understands, that there are a group of people within there. And then she try, uh, the baby try to fit in there. And how will be the reaction with the different members of the of the of the family? So this is the first thing. They are the, the the contact that takes place here. So this one it teaches the baby that the baby is learning about the connection with the other individuals of the family. And at the same time, as he grows up and becomes a student and goes to school then she's in the open now where she is meeting the peer groups and the teachers and there is this another new dimension that is taking to to the baby's development the personality development that comes into play here so there are certain things also certain things have to be with the individual trying to cope with the demands of the uh, meetings of the people around around the around the person so this this cannot be taught this is self explained within the individual uh, from the knowledge she has gathered or the baby has gathered from the family and from the from the schooling and now when we go to the bigger society then we have to adjust ourselves with our education how how we are going to form part in the society what will be our reaction to the society how we are going to adjust with the demands of the society uh, having having you know consumed so much you know the knowledge that you have consumed from the family from the schools and from the higher education and everything so this is these are the things that have to be considered and also we have this you know the sociologists always say that the human being is a social animal we cannot live without the 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 society we live in a society we may have our own perspective we have a perspective we may have our own way of thinking but we have to adjust it with the demands of the society so that we have certain rules and regulations of the community of the society so we have to 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 adjust to that so that we are not going to be in in contradiction with the society and the other basic uh, aim of this education and everything is like that why 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 are we educating ourselves is this that is is it that we are educating ourselves just to become employable just to earn money just to get our bread or are we educating ourselves to become useful to the society this is the concept that is missing i think in the in the modern era of the teaching so the teaching should be you know like 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 i i i uh, from my experience i'm gathering this that we have to think how my education is going to benefit the people in the society how i am going to do things so that the the the, the people at large are going to benefit like i think uh, guruji was uh, uh, dr kp was telling us about you know the power within us how we are good, the the aim of our living at uh, the aim of being as a human being on this earth is to see how we can render the others into the happiness into the enjoyment and uh, so that you feel satisfied but if you are happy are you happy only for yourself if you are happy only for yourself then we can we can we can consider it to be i don't know whether it will be selfishness or egocentric or anything like that but i think the real happiness is when i am able to make a few person happy in their life by certain actions by certain doings or maybe sharing all the experience that you have with other persons and they are benefiting from that experience so this is what what is the aim of education should be in my opinion thank you yeah beautiful point as usual kishor ji
Sir, should I say something? Yeah, don't ask this. I told you anybody can. So you should unmute and start. See, uh, we are talking about, uh, as I understood the problem in higher education or kind of uh, kind of change which, uh, which we are uh, seeing now at present, it's something which is a kind of uh, uh, change uh, in a kind of, uh, because people are more uh, mechanical and uh, people do not have anything, they have not like uh, in the earlier set what happened that there was a kind of social engagement even the learning places were kind of a kind of engagement to the students uh, not only the education but also the overall development of the personality if you go by the traditional guru sisya parampara of the indian uh, philosophy or the culture so there was a kind of discipline uh, we used to engage the students like uh, when we went to the school uh, first thing we do that uh, we go for a prayer then there was a period which we had given to the sports and other activities but nowadays you find that uh, things have changed and uh, things or the ch change is good but change in a uh, uh, always in a uh, not in a uh, good uh, sphere so it is always something kind of what uh, in the the students are getting, getting is negative, negative. because uh, we are more technical nowadays we are more technical and, uh, and also advanced we call uh, ourselves as advanced people or we are looking for the status oriented so the value system has ultimately changed so the Purusartha model is no more working. So so the, the, the who is responsible for that? Saying the, that uh, the higher education or the institution is responsible uh, is partly correct. But there are, as I said, that there is no more social engagement or the community feeling is not there. Partly because the curriculum which we are supposed to teach, as a teacher, we are supposed to take our classes. But and we are supposed to teach the syllabus which has given to us and after that no, neither the students are interested even if we try to do some kind of engagement and uh, hardly you find a kind of interest we are able to generating amongst the students because uh, the things have changed and the change has come from the family. And the change has come in the within the institution. There is no such parameter where you can engage all the students. And sports was an activity which everybody should do, not to only the apply to the sports department. And the prayer, everybody should do that because so that people can learn something. Because saying that how those things will, uh, like why this kind of things are happening, is that I think every each one of us responsible for that and uh, more than blaming the students we should blame our system which is uh, making the uh, people just looking for a kind of job as you said rightly that the education is a kind of place or the teaching is a kind of place after completing graduation or post graduation people are looking for a job and uh, th that is how I see that uh, like uh, uh, most of the policy makers or the people are not actually serious commitment is not there uh, responsibility is not there things are going and people think that unless and until problem comes to me i do not look for a better change and that that is why things are happening and individuality is a something is a very big concept as we see in philosophy that the freedom and the responsibility and the commitment unless and until we take uh, each one of us not uh, if a single person will take the things will not change as i said that it's a kind of collective responsibility or a kind of uh, objective set needs to be changed and uh, there uh, we, I think we can change the education system, bringing the uh, traditional Guru Sisya Parampara back into the uh, system and impose, not a kind of giving a freedom and autonomy to think about no 
uh, if it suits me i can do it if doesn't suit me i can't do it so we have to impose a system which is good for the society and the good for the individual that i have to say thank you sir um jayanti ji uh, i told you in the beginning itself we are not here to find fault with the system parents teachers we know that there are a lot of lacuna we are looking for some solution where what is the real requirement what i can do or what do i do in a small way to change at least two people that's only what i'm asking right as a sample what i can show so i will tell you what i have or what i do look at people i keep saying every children as including me when i was child i am so pure and innocent every child is pure and innocent our children are generally pure and innocent but what do we do is we teach them and making them more sophisticated more complicated more unhappy and i keep seeing every child keep on grabbing things around them and ask what is this what is this what is this what is this and the teaching has become in such a fashion at the end of some education they keep saying i don't want to know anything in this world so actually a student is curious i mean by birth every human is curious education should make them more and more curious that is how we take them to the highest what is called research i am so curious to learn something more and more so i keep searching so what is the top most education is phd or maybe doing research and publishing papers is what is education end that is also curiosity you want to know many things and as a child everybody has this in between what is lost in the process is children don't have questions why because we give them questions and we give them answers we teach them we handle them we engage them many times that use the word engage you know it our job is not engaging them our job is not pressurizing them our job is not making them to stand in a row and then chant prayers it is not adira knows when i conduct a 10 days camp many children will ask what time you have to get up what time is meditation they know that i am a meditation master from himalayas and parents will ask i think i never taught anybody meditation in my camps but they all expect morning 4 o'clock you have to get up i said don't get up you get up when you like that doesn't matter don't think that discipline is waking up at 4 o'clock and then ch chanting mantra lighting lamp all these are drama actually that is not a discipline discipline is see how do you make your curious curiosity that is what the every child doesn't have a uh, no time table for life why do you want discipline why do you want this to become a researcher i don't think many people have done so much great because they have the de schooling itself focuses on not having time table for learning got it our acharya anushthana systems are fantastic it did not had these sort of time table don't think in the gurukulam there was a time when 4 o'clock they have to get up they will go for hunting they will go for walking they will go for fire wood uh, uh, you no know, collection yes. it all depends on there is a need it's all need based our education has become not need based it was good when there is a factory process and the time table was kept today working from home is the order of the day The employers need not to go to factories and all the employers are being replaced by missions and what we need is curious people so my question is maybe out of 100 out of 100 people we are not able to make it like that can i have 10 students at least can we have 10 teachers who will take this flag and say yeah i my job is to create philosophy class i must create my students to look at what is philosophy everyone will pass exam if you don't even teach i'll tell you because there is a textbook there is old question paper everybody can learn this mug up and they will get more marks and they are spending more time wasting in the classroom without even listening to the teachers that's a fact most of the teachers know that they are not even listening to the class but still as you said portion completion <coughs> syllabus completion 
So what are we looking for? Actually, what am I looking for? I have done this. I, I cannot change the system. So what I did was, as soon as I took pension in 2009, when I got my retirement, I went to a small school in Palakkad, a small place in Kerala, picked up 90 children. They were allowed to go to their classroom, whatever they wanted to learn, whatever teachers want to teach, let them learn that. The rest of the holidays I used them in my style of teaching. What is that I taught? I taught only how to be curious, how to ask questions, how to have dialogue, how to question, you know, learn many things outside your classroom. So beyond the classroom. So I am not here to say anything fault about the system. I told you in India we cannot make a lot of differences. I cannot even, I don't have that ability to create a school which will run in my own style where I have a brand name where I can convince at least 100 parents to make their children to join. That also will not happen. Right. We, we need a supplementary program, probably educating little teachers who can think about it. In their classrooms, they can implement it. And probably some students will get attracted to you. They will come back to you. And they will start asking questions and learn and then change. See, I am seeing Adria as one of the examples. Where I have seen her when she was in ninth class, she is still with me. There are many such students. They are still curious about learning many things even without knowing, oh, that is not going to come for my examination. General students are such, you know, if it is for examination, I will think about it, I will learn, otherwise I will not learn. Can we create students who are curious about learning? As Kishore Chandraji said, it is useful for the society tomorrow. What you study probably, I studied fluid mechanics. I don't know whether that is useful for a society tomorrow or not. I never thought about it while doing because I was looking at that problem as a methodology to learn how to solve a problem for my PhD so that I can take any problem in the world and then take that, analyze it and then see how that problem has to be addressed. So that is more important. So the methodology is more important than what we learn. Right. So can we create such students? What, what could be that modality? Can we have such process? We have people who are ready to work as Arjunas and then no, they are, they are ready to take their flags. We wanted to create such a place where we have a uh, exam preparation factory available which is academics today. Okay, I cannot rebuild that academics. Even yesterday we heard that government of India is starting maybe many, many signing schools around India. What is Sainik school? They wanted to create people who will fi become fit for army. We are not for making, no, let them do what they want. Government, uh, government let them do what they want. But can we have some special place where people are curious about learning? Can we have 200 working days out of 365 days? 160 days, what are the children doing? At least 100 days can they be with uh, some people to think about the slightly different about their own life we are not asking about society let them think about their own life so there is an inner personality development a spiritual development a universal outlook which will create an entirely different learning in them so we we, we don't have to have a bad heartbeat on this because we are part of the people who have migrated from that right now what we need is with a peaceful mind, think about how can we empower, elevate, expand, enrich the knowledge so that the greatest persuasion in human life is knowledge. Realize it. And knowledge is the enriching process. It is not filling the brain. It is how you look at the world where your sensory organs are able to capture everything around. We are not doing it. We are not seeing what we wanted to see. We are not hearing everything what we can hear and then process it. We all filter it by saying, is it good for examination? Then only I will look at it. So can we have somebody, we have grown that. Uh, what we want is, can we create such small group of teachers who will look at it? Sir, uh, sir uh, the problems are different. You don't try to understand what exactly the uh, situations are. Because the situations are now very worst because 
the family system has changed the value system has changed and uh, still uh, students are not getting anything the environment has changed the uh, what they are looking for is something which is not like listen listen to your lectures or listen to our uh, the uh, values which we try to discipline which we try to give them but they want their what uh, what they have learned from their parents or from their teachers so uh, see uh, uh, like uh, suppose uh, uh, i i'll tell myself uh, my family has a different discipline different value system i may accept what you are saying but uh, the students nowadays the parents are give, not giving any kind of uh, uh, discipline or any kind of things uh, which will build their personality ultimately they are also looking that you do the education get the job and uh, even if suppose take for the example uh, the, uh, the 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 oh. poster which you shared with me i shared with all the groups like my students and i told them every time i used to tell them to listen and participate in the discussion but they are hardly you find one or two maybe several times and also i used to when you tell me i used to change my teaching learning method also maybe probably if i ask the question five or five or six them are raising questions and we have a different discussions but things are now in a uh, Uh, as i said that the 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 each one of us are responsible and more than the teacher sometimes the family atmosphere some sometimes the surroundings are responsible over the social media and we, we are not creating any kind of uh, uh, discipline or the uh, kind of life building system which the sister, students will follow uh, and listen to the teacher and things have changed Uh, we may work and i used to i used to keep on uh, developing so many courses not at the benefit of that me and uh, but thinking that ultimately this will uh, give a kind of positive development within an, in their thinking process but it's hardly and uh, yes uh, the things are changing but difficult to change maximum people maybe one or two people i'm able to reach and uh, or maybe 10 people out of 3000 students i'm able to reach to the uh, 50 or 100 students but which i'm looking for the maximum numbers is not uh, a kind of it's very difficult to generate yes uh, uh, i'm hopeful like uh, uh, <laughs> i'm hopeful that i'm able to... yeah vijay vijay can speak yeah so it... in terms of i do agree with uh, uh, a, a systemic change being needed because yes there is a systemic uh, aberrations that are there so we understand that and i do understand i i am currently in hyderabad i come from a software background i am an engineer uh, after my masters i worked uh, as a software consultant and then uh, my life led me to uh, this field of education through cognitive disabilities and cognitive diversity then uh, finally towards uh, uh, swadharma to the point where there is a holistic definition at least from my perspective i could see that uh, uh, the purpose of life should be tied to the purpose to the and education should be tied to the purpose of life and trying to empower is where i kind of landed so far in my journey so that is the background a little bit of background as to where i am coming from so in this uh, i uh, the, the the field chose me to contribute so what i decided is where are the gaps to understand i travel the world and to understand do people want it and i realized that yes people do want it the system is not in general supporting so but there are a lot of things in the, the benefit of the system is there's a lot of infrastructure available if there is a tool i felt which empowers them to identify what their purpose is which is done in a benign way uh, um, then that empowered tool can help them harness the infrastructure available just as an example if the if there is a tool which is given to both teachers students and parents where whereby they can simply and with some level of uh, accuracy identify what are the career options or swadharma or the the, the activities or uh, actions that they are uh, keep, they that give them satisfaction if that is uh, find found out earlier and if there is a way to do that then if uh, uh, then the system of education Uh, happening 
uh, can have an, uh, an elixir or an uh, adage, I mean, add another path to it where you're seeking perfection in this field and uh, you are picking and choosing uh, some of those things where you want to go dive deep and and uh, seek guidance and then the whole, say what, uh, 10, 10 plus 2 plus 3 or 4, so that many years of education, whatever is happening, you also become a, you embrace your genius and start looking towards how contributing through your uh, purpose. So if that can be done is what is, is one of the ways I could see this and like, like a micro change. If people are empowered with what what their contribution should be, I thought that will be one good intervention and it can be done from a, uh, with the existing system without disrupting it and people can be uh, smart enough. And I have, just as an example, I, I want to give an example to this. If someone, uh, uh, when, like for example, if, if as early as a, when the kid is about one year or old, if you find out that uh, sports and especially uh, hand, uh, uh, a, a game like tennis or TT or uh, badminton is something suitable for that kid, seems to be something very, uh, uh, very much aligned. Then apart from the education, the kid can learn that. If there is a research that is there, if there is an analytical mind, and if that is that comes out to the outcome, apart from their education, they can be uh, trained more into logic and analysis-based subjects and statistical analysis and all of those different skills which they can go and learn in the out, uh, learn in the world. I think that I felt that was one of the ways it can be. The system can yeah, systemic changes will take slow, but these kind of intervention will empower people. So uh, so that uh, yeah, that that's one of the tools I felt. And the other tool I felt is including an intervention of life coaching where uh, early in life, early in life for the kids uh, during their education as to encouraging them to ask the question of how do they want to contribute and uh, uh, how do they want to structure their life and where do they see the, the, the questions of why and how this is relevant that coaching system can be a supplement where they're uh, allowed to ask that question and explore that question as the education is happening, then they will be able to better uh, harness their uh, potential or hone their skills and things like that. So these are the two things I felt will help from what my experience or uh, my experience has been. And they'll be able to leverage the existing infrastructure. And uh, this also comes from one of the personal interactions I had with few of the students is they are in a fix once they are reaching their final year of graduation or undergraduation where they have to enter into the market and start their career. So they are in a fix like if I start a career, I might be doing an injustice to my inner calling. By then they get some, some people get some sort of inkling that I don't want to be an engineer, I don't want to be a computer scientist or I don't want to be an IT guy or I don't want to be a doctor or I don't want to be something like this but I want to do something. They get some inkling but they don't know sometimes what it is. So they are like, that's a simple question that if I start this, will I be fixed for the rest of my life with this? My identity will be fixed. So those are like those smaller things, very, uh, very basic, perhaps very silly for us who have crossed that phase. But for them, it were, they were like more existential questions. They are causing them sleepless nights and addictions and all sorts of things. But uh, that was that for me, after all this, I felt like the, the smaller interventions are possible and needed and have their value. May not be uh, may not be like the game changer, but at least it is something to start with and then learn along the way. So this is my input, I guess. My understanding. Yeah, what Vijay said, you know, that is what we are looking for actually. It is not blaming the system. What is that supplementary program which maybe as a teacher, uh, how to empower them, how students can be empowered, how parents can be motivated to think in a different style. See, we are looking for solutions, not for blaming something and then say that, you know, that we have had enough uh, deliberations on this at many point of time. We have got a great new education policy coming. We are not here to give a surgery on such things. Yeah. Uh, Suresh ji from Bombay. Yeah. yeah. Whether, uh, whether we are lacking to train our students to uh, face the failure uh, I feel that only, sir, because initially from birth to 
fifth age or something previously we used to uh, the children used to play with their own friends and they used to make up their mind accordingly now from zero to two play school or uh, all these things because of this one i think so there is a, a problem for in the initial development so we need to address the nuclear nuclear family system and all these things that is what my uh, thought on this see earlier there the, earlier there were procedures in which you are tested and say you are unfit therefore promotions were not given just like that even from third class fourth class fifth class sixth class people used to fail today what happens even if you uh, don't study well you are promoted to higher and higher grades now for example if you take 11th 12th students if they don't pass also they go to engineering because no exams are conducted when i was executive director of an engineering college i found that you know uh, the number of seats are not filled because maths 50% is not there government says that you can also take 35% then people with the 35% they, they did not appear exam they had a hall ticket but then their exam result was so bad they decided not to take exam then we said if you have hall ticket you can enter for engineering see this is how the the, the system has diluted so much that is because we have institutions which are run like uh, sanjay ji said it's all private so filling the filling the seats making money has become education education has become a big factory that's what i say i was part of engineering education for at least 10 years i know how it is happening therefore it, we cannot blame so what we are looking at during that time what did i do instead of blaming i had lot of students who are coming to me they spent all their holidays with me they learned real engineering at home i will give them assignments they will look at we can have supplementary programs in school education also i intervened i gave an example where i intervened and give a supplementary program what i am looking for is can we have such a group of people or volunteers maybe create such a system where we can have give supplementary programs the intention is to create such supplementary programs i have done lot of residential programs camps in which creativity of children can be improved can we create see it is true that you did not put your children for swimming but can we do that so that is what we did they they did not go to village to learn the village life can they do this at least for 10 days right so that they get a taste of it we are looking for such activities to be created around that is the objective of this program right so we have such action action oriented program is what we are looking for let me be, make it very clear yeah. so to create such opportunities am i audible now yeah I'm audible to my laptop yeah. yeah now to be able to just explain nobody is blaming anything over here we are looking at solutions and even the process of blaming a system should lead to positive outcomes of coming out with solutions now when the process of blaming leads you to the gap analysis which shows that these are the areas which are not yet addressed and need to be addressed as you have very rightly pointed out what do i do positively over here the way in which it has been identified and done today in the existing uh, system that is that is actually been driven away by uh, by privatization as far well as any of the skill driven healthcare medical or, or engineering is there is something which is called as the the workshop system or the skill development system you know that the iti is developed behind the hardcore engineering schools school. sanjay ji you have to be very brief you cannot give more than 2 minutes for you now yeah. you can go on vijay <laughs> yeah. so one of the mention was how to help get people to celebrate failure but that's one of those things there can be a small intervention to celebrate failure because the failure not as in uh, uh, to encourage innovation to let people go through just as an example i just give you because this one experiment i had done uh, as a small intervention and a small homework if you give someone 100 rupees and ask them to get 200 rupees worth of anything any goods that can be something that that challenges them uh, puts them in a creative state and also uh, they have to think innovatively and then gives them some mental resilience also because they have to uh, go through the process of either the challenge is giving them anxiety or excitement 
if that slowly they start moving into some these challenges are making them exciting there is that is a favorable ground to become curious now come on let's do this and that these are some smallest smaller things like a celebration of failure is one of the intervention i had thought like uh, to encourage innovation you have to celebrate some level of failure because otherwise you'll never push your boundary you're playing the safe game it's like reading the books answers writing the exams and and that's where it is so that's one of the other things small things i was thinking from what uh, uh, the other gentleman I, like i didn't get his name he had mentioned i think yeah that is one of the very good points i think yeah Uh, Kishore ji, you have to unmute. Yeah, I just want to make two points again. Uh, this, you know, the the objective of this meet is about seeing uh, the teachers, the students, and uh, the parents. So, how we can, uh, you know, make a sangam of these three, so that we can. make uh, better individuals with the real personality development that they are girl going to come in the society uh, to be useful person and trying to help other people to be happy i think one of the aim is this is try to see how we can cooperate each other and then try to come with a strategy and then we can initiate with some voluntary in institutions and try to see how it works when it works then we can start to how to uh, duplicate it on other institutions this is the one thing i i wanted to mention and the second thing that i wanted to mention in this you know whenever when you, whatever we want to do or we want to bring a change we have to see what will be the consequence of the change you know and then uh, i remember i was just uh, thinking you know having read so many so many things i was thinking about the hari rama hari krishna consciousness movement no one the first started with the founder how he started it he started getting a few people and he was training them and then he let them go to the world and try to propagate in the teachings of uh, of bhagavad gita and uh, when they were started doing i i re- i still remember i was still a child when uh, the founder came to mauritius and he met one of my relatives and i still remember the conversation he said to the to, uh, he was my pupa so he said to him give me your son and then i'll make him Uh, a propagator of the bhagavad gita in the world and train him and, and to go all over the world to do that my pupa did it actually but the the, the 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 concept that was developed in trying to create this consciousness not only in india but all over the world i think there is something that we can learn how they started to do that and how they they created the strategy and maybe we can you i i don't say that we have to copy the strategy but at least get an idea and we start in our own way to sway some institution get some teachers get the parents get the administrators to the of the school so that they can collaborate each other and to come out with such a thing that will be workable and make those students to be worthy Uh, beings in the society and they are going to contribute uh, contribute to the welfare of the society because we live in the society we can't ignore it we are social animals no man is an island so we have to see how we have to interact and how to bring our contribution i think one of the solution you were talking uh, guruji is i think we can we can implement it but we have to see uh, the strategy how it is going to be involved and to get one voluntary school with the teachers with the administrators with the parents of the of the students work out together say 
I, 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 I don't say the older students, but at least 10 students, 10 teachers, 10 families are going to join together with the administration giving the support, you know, the logistic support to do things that would be wonderful to do. I still remember in Mauritius, you know, when, when the, the computer age came, no, the people were not aware of the computer, those who have already done the education. You know, the university students, what they did, there was, uh, you know, like a, a bus with a few computers put in it, and it was going to the village, and the students of the university went with that uh, bus training of the computer to the villagers, to the elders, how to, you know, because there are many people that have got students who are studying abroad. So they were not able, they were writing letters, and it would take so many days to go. But you know, once they started having this uh, press button age, so they say, okay, why don't you use the computer? And they were being taught. And you know, slowly and slowly, the elderly of Mauritius are already, you know, computer literate. At least I don't say literate 100%, but literate at least they can communicate with their, with their children abroad. So I think we have to find out in this, how we are going to do that. And then this will be the model that is going to be created. And who knows, who knows, that once this model is working, maybe the authorities will be interested to know how you have done it, and they would take it and try to replicate it in all, all, all other institutions under their control. Thank you. Yeah, uh, Kishore Chandraji, that is what the model which I was talking to you, as I retired, there was a rich man who was sponsoring the whole program. I did it for 90 children. I don't say all the 90 have become very great. But they are all mostly saying that their uh, son will not or daughter will not even pass 10th class. The teachers were telling they will not even pass 10th class. They will not reach anywhere. But they are today in different parts of the world doing masters, PhDs. Yes. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. it is the model is there. I am not saying I am only the single person doing it. There are a lot of volunteer yeah. organizations who are doing in isolation at different places. Vijayan is there. Vijayan who spoke to that Vijendra who yeah. spoke. Yeah. We met in a place where near uh, Hyderabad, there is a place where they run a full skill oriented program. What do they do is they have 150 different skills being taught. All the normal academics is being taught like an open school program there are a lot of such activities happening but what is happening we call the so, so called the higher stratum of so, society for them for them always there is a there is a question even even you wanted to make sadhus or sannyasis the the so called moderate or rich people they don't they, they don't support. Still, we have this problem. Sanjay want to know what is your background. If you say that I am a BTEC, I am not doing a job, then you are a useless fellow. Because I became the vice president of Kirloskar company, therefore I am a great fellow. I am from IIT Delhi, therefore I am a great fellow. With that motive, if somebody comes, you know, what happens is they think that the rest of the people did not go to IIT are useless. They did not become. See, that is the concept the society has today. Yeah. We don't want that. We want people, you need not be educated from the highest institution. I am also telling, no, when I took 10 children, they went to IAT, become great. No, I am not saying that. Did their outlook has become more social oriented? That is what we are looking for. We are not looking for model creation by saying, my children took a PhD, my children took a IAT, they joined in a, That is not important. Therefore, there are institutional backing which is more essential to do something. That has become the order of the day. But when you look at open school program in America, it was not institutionalized. That was always few parents who wanted to make a difference to their children. So there were uh, counselors, open school counselors, home education counselors. They will go and intervene and tell this is the direction in which it is not teaching, it is learning by the children 
How do the parents watch them learning? I am very carefully using the word. It is not a teaching. School education teachers need not to teach. They should watch their children learning. Will, will there be at least a few teachers? Not necessarily in the school. After school can we have such programs where we supplement? We are not looking at making an organization, joining an organization. As an individual, I have done this. I want a few more volunteers to look at it. Can we duplicate it in many places? Then we can say, oh, this is what... See, I used to go to northeast of India. I used to spend 10-15 days. There were a lot of children out of which they, they are curious. They keep on looking and I, they have not lost their curiosity. But even today, after 8 years, 10 years, they are in some university. They keep asking questions. We have dialogue. Like, they wanted to know many more things, you know. That is being lost. And how do we re-establish is the question which we wanted to make. So, as Jayanti says, she has organized a lot of programs. This weekend also we have a program with her. There are few teachers who are really interested. And there are teachers who are making it happen. It is not that it is lost. But how do we make it more and more? That's the problem. We cannot replace the education system. Can we make supplementary programs? There is a value degradation which happened in most of the activities which we do. How do we make it more and more enriching? That is what we wanted to have. Yeah, Vijendra wanted to say something in between. But um, Sanjay ji uh, kept on talking. So that's why I stopped him. Vijayan wanted to unmute and speak. Vijay is there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say is uh, when, when people are okay with discomfort, where they are able to take some challenging or discomfort or uncomfortable situations. Uh, that is a better uh, preparation for even learning because then they have a, a better preparedness for adversity. So they are able to uh, express themselves more freely, whether in education or otherwise. There can be such interventions possible. Mental resilience is how it can be done and that can be there's a lot of ways to uh, do that as an intervention and as even Sanjay ji had told, Engineers Without Borders, there's a lot of organizations that are also there and uh, uh, if the motive is not to build an organization, um, then uh, training those organizations and people and implanting these programs into them, at least if, like the train the trainer, that can be something that can be done. I think that can be one intervention that can be done and uh, uh, and also, uh, mental resilience also helps in trying to come out of the regular pattern or the conditioning that people are being put in. Like if you don't study, then you will fail or uh, uh, in the sense that uh, this is the time you have to make it. Otherwise, uh, the life will be uh, the, the conditioning that is there, that there is a set protocol or template uh, of life that it is there. And if you somehow deviate from it, then uh, you're wasting your life. And there's no way to come back or there's, there, there's, there's only one success formula and that is this and there's no other ways. And even education is about uh, how you excel in the exams and things like that. So those uh, those can be also effectively uh, addressed or even uh, communicated when there is a better mental resilient or more mental energy, mental resilience. I think that uh, and uh, what do you call that, the ability to handle a little, little bit uh, uh, discomfort, I believe, or discomfort or... Uh, uh, yeah, things like that. So that I think is one other thing I wanted to add. See, uh, Vijayendran, uh, what you are saying is because we have a social system in which we cannot uh, disagree with the society because it's so much binded, you know. Our family system is too strong. Our social bondage system is too strong. Therefore, what happens is most of the time when we talk about uh, examples and books to be followed is something from the West, which cannot even implement it in India. Now, in American situation, I, after 12th class, people are given send off. They have to be go out of the house. They can do what they want. You cannot take an example of an American book or Amer that's what when I suggested Adhira also, I said, don't look at it as it is not practically possible in India because they have a lot of freedom. Indian situation, we are different. We cannot fight with society. We cannot fight with the system. 
therefore what vijendra said i keep calling it as uncomfortably comfortable and you are comfortably uncomfortable you have the comfort of your society no you have you are taken care of very well but you cannot expose yourself the freedom is not there so you are uncomfortable but your physical situations the care society everything is taking care of you therefore you have a comfort zone that is the problem that's a conflict actually what we are discussing about is how to work within this framework within the bond uh, we cannot break all these and then go that is impossible we cannot create such a system by uh, if you look at that movie you will understand there no how is it possible in india it's not possible that is why i am looking for such a system where we can have a supplementary programs we i cannot change the teachers and tell don't uh, teach in the classroom they have to finish the syllabus they have to write all the program can we make at least see i am sure jayanti is implementing when she said she is making a balance i am able to understand that right so she picks up lot of ideas probably some time is invested for that our bloom's taxonomy in the education system also says that how do we make a balanced program that is more important how do we make such many number of teachers to have a similar concern is my question how many such teachers because i am i am 100% sure teachers only can change the society and that we cannot change children we cannot change parents teachers can make a difference can we have such teachers who will take some some spark from this and create a small difference it is not that you cannot do that it is possible i'll tell you why i have chosen uh, this program today exactly 10 years back i went around kerala kerala government i mean 2017 i went around kerala there was a program called walk with a scholar the kerala government congress government implemented a program called walk with a scholar the idea was the children will get a chance to interact with the scholars like us the ta is given da is given accommodation is given money is paid and we i used to go around kerala different colleges so that students can ask questions but i have found most of the students are not asking questions that is because their classrooms are like monologues there are no discussions how can you have one person coming for one day and then make a lot of difference that's not possible so what i did was i wrote a project called the mentors navigation program how do i make the teachers different and the program went to the government of kerala and it took almost 6 months by the time the government changed they decided walk with a scholar itself is they are going to scrap but then i had by the time good rapport with the different colleges so what i did was almost 4200 kilometers i drove myself kerala is only 400 kilometers you can imagine 10 times i drove left and right of kerala i went to most of the colleges created clusters and then had lot of discussions i taught teachers how you can make a difference see it is not that i am not as an individual did not do i did there are few teachers who made differences there are few teachers who tried to make differences right and that time when i or- organized this program the state coordinator said you will not be paid because government changed they did not put money on that i said i had not for money it's my social service it's a great opportunity for me to talk to all the teachers in this college in kerala so i did it so what i'm saying is can we make this trigger thoughts in at least a few teachers that's only what i'm saying how do we make it happen is what vijendra said yes we can make it happen with volunteering organizing people looking at how do we make the trainers training but we we are not training them actually there is no prop, proper way this is what is to be done most of the places i did not tell teachers this is how you should do it i asked them how are you going to do then they have to come back and tell me do you think there is a change required if change required what are you going to do they themselves created projects and each place it was different see there is no unique system which will work in a society each one of them have a background we understand with that background they create a program so my question is can we have such small small groups i am not looking for large number of the first question before all of you joined sanjay joined how many people will be there see i, I said i am not worried about how many are there we want only two people they have to be contributory they have to discuss that's only what i said right so we need to create such a program where in probably people can think and create small groups of people where we can propagate this make a project 
this is how we will work like for philosophy what can be done cannot be done in mathematics what mathematics teachers can do cannot be done in physics so we need to have different uh, programs for different group of teachers at different levels anybody or otherwise we'll call it a day it's seven o'clock yeah jay prakash ji you can try yeah you try your mic is on we will know. thank you sir yeah uh, first sir uh, telecommunication gap uh, parents to teacher or teacher to uh, student in me sorry student to parents or parents to student uh, doesn't matter environment doesn't matter sitting arrangement uh, eklavya दोनों के पास कोई सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट अरेंजमेंट नहीं था एनरोलमेंट नहीं था और उनके पास भी एनरोलमेंट था पांडवों के पास में कौरों के साथ पास में और टीचर का भी होना चाहिए अगर दोनों का अगर सही है तो बच्चा शुरू से लेकर अंत तक जो शिक्षा तक समाप्त होती है जयप्रकाश जी आज कल क्या हो रहा है बच्चों को ये पढ़ने का इंटरेस्ट भी नहीं है दैट इज दॉर्मल प्रॉब्लम वही दे ज्वाइन फॉर ए प्रोग्राम बिकॉज दे के नॉट सिट एट होम इनफैक्ट दैट इज वॉट और दे डिड नॉट गेट मैरिड दे डिड नॉट गेट ए जॉब वाई आर दे चूसिंग वन सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड मैथमेटिक्स बिकॉज दैट इज वॉट दे गॉट real interest that is because the objective and scope of education itself did not to be made very clear for every people around this world they don't know the syllabus that is what is happening that is what is exactly to be done. sir sir uh, acche ghar 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 se bhi bachche bigadte hain aur bure ghar se bhi acche bachche nikalte hain ye humne dekha hai Oh, no i will tell you i will tell you i will tell you what i have done when i was an engineering college executive director i opened the college for plus 1 plus 2 students they can come and visit and then see all the departments learn what is engineering before deciding where to apply before they can write an entrance exam decide look at engineering college and see you understood this is what i believe this is what i think a philosophy student should join for ba philosophy only after looking at the syllabus and understand this is what i am going to learn this is what i have done when i was in engineering college i i ran the engineering college buses throughout the neighboring places asked all of them come come free lunch was provided free in the canteen and then said look at each department and then learn i was executive director so i had the power to do that i did it this is to introduce you should know what you are going to learn most of the children even don't know what they are going to learn yeah deepak roy wanted to say something good enough then yeah uh, jayanti ji is telling something. no sir what i am saying what i am saying that yeah you... speak you are audible so, so, yes sir so what i am saying that uh, for us it is a very difficult task because you see that philosophy is not a school subject as you said rightly that students should think before they join a course that why they are going to join but uh, what the students are doing because the pressure is there from the parent side and the most of the students we are getting in philosophy department in delhi university especially are commerce students either commerce students or science students because they don't have a school subject philosophy is not a school subject in delhi especially so they don't know about the anything about the subject and to uh, we we are job is to make them a, at least to know little bit about the philosophy if not in a real sense and how to address the individual major concern in philosophical di- discussions are 
into the life related problems like at least this is the subject which uh, speaks about every aspects of the life as you said five things are emotional intellectual spiritual and other and this is the only subject probably i think that where we are giving justice to each and every aspect of the uh, the concern is each and every aspects of the development of the students and uh, doing this it takes a very great pain also sometimes as you are feeling that uh, pain is there within you that how to bring a change uh, within the uh, society and the students and the education system and create some kind of teachers who can take the initiative and to bring some kind of change uh, for, so that also we are doing but sometimes uh, the we can't blame the students also no, because uh, the timetable which we give them probably probably if, even if they are interested they are overburdened with some kind of uh, syllabus to finish that syllabus one class they finish they go to one other class and by the time four, four classes are there again 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 jayanti ji jayanti ji you are worried about so much of problems i said let us not worry about these problems which are part of the system which i cannot solve you cannot solve it i cannot change the engineering college system i cannot change the entrance examination system so what did i do i did a small thing which i can pro probably do it right so we should think how do we get we we need ch children who are interested to learn philosophy we need to make it more interesting in my classroom when they reach me these are the two things which we can do okay we are not talking about see i cannot say that no student should not be passed from 7th to 8th without understanding the whole syllabus which is 7th class which is impossible so but what am i looking at how can you make these children see when you look at 8th class mathematics you know there is a first first part which says what children should know to continue this actually that is up to 7th class you should be very good that is what it means but there is a revision process but i don't think a no teachers will do that similarly we have orientation program therefore who are the children who are coming because they they have no interest they don't know what to study right so what do they do they apply in different places wherever they get they join this is what is happening in most of the programs psychology sociology even history geography they they know that there are not going to be many geographers not that they all ba english people are who are interested in english literature or language not that it's same way even in mathematics they join mathematics they don't know see it is not that i am not talking from ex today i have got at least 10 the other day i was in engineering college every day i get lot of whatsapp messages saying that you know i am a telugu background student i don't know i don't understand anything i am a btech first year what to do see you are from uh, which background it doesn't matter it is teachers job there is a humanities department there is an english department but they have a syllabus to complete they don't even think whether the student is able to understand english or not they finish the syllabus they conduct exam and that fellow also will get a btech so how can i make small difference i am not talking only on the platform like this i am also interacting with the children at different levels jayanti may not know how many of your jayanti students are with me they are in dialogue with me you understood I, when i talk to maybe 100 children at least 5 of them 10 of them are coming to me they may not continue continuously do it but at least once in a month one of your student definitely will have few questions and then i am in dialogue with them i am not looking at a large number of change i am looking at one change one student that is good enough what that is good enough i am so happy when some seminar happened jayanti is talking to me even today that's a great thing when i gave maybe few children going to athiras village that small school where i spent a program maybe 7 years back one athira is big to me is good enough that difference is what we wanted to make right otherwise i don't think isabel has to join this program for discussion right from argentina heard me on a uh, one month program she must have got 60 people so but she is following somebody and talking because she knows oh there is something which happens right 
everybody has got this confusion but they don't know where to seek solutions so what we want is we need people who propagate this to many people so that we know see for example if i am jain this house what i will do is i will call all the i went to many of those schools in delhi i must have gone to more number of schools that you have seen in delhi i'll tell you because every week i used to go to one one school when i was in delhi i go for an uh, opening program 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock back 9 o'clock i am in the office that's how i do that half an hour which i used to spend is to talk about the general what is engineering what is biology what is philosophy what is mathematics see as a philosophy department teacher you can do lot of things you can educate the 11th and 12th teachers so that they will tell at least one word about philosophy in their classroom why do you look at philosophy is there in syllabus or not so oh, this is what is philosophy then some student will find i want to learn philosophy and they will come and talk to you you can that is what is called open department program open organization programs why isro keeps an open pro, open day many children can come and see isro so that they get motivated department of atomic energy has got an open day why is it kept we have got a science exhibition train what for because every department will say that this is our department this is what we are doing to propagate that some people will find it interesting abdul kalam started a program called iser when iser was not having sufficient entry people did not even apply because they don't know what is happening in iser so there was a program called a promoting iser i was part of a ambassador for that we have to conduct programs for 11th and 12th children to tell them what iser is what is the credential which you get when you apply in iser motivate children to write exam to grab people into iser otherwise only little people who know about it will apply that is what we are doing see for example i keep saying if you want to be a good teacher in different subjects there is a regional uh, education for teachers training programs there only you should apply because that is one of the best system i must have told this to many people why do i say it is not for marketing because i know there is a government institution they have not marketed so i keep saying every teacher is a marketing personnel for their subject you have to market don't tell your problems when you tell your problems you are not marketing so it is nice to hear your problems and say yeah papa correct very difficult it is very bad the department is bad education is bad children are bad i had enough i am talking to you but i don't even tell this i keep saying system is like that which i can probably because i was part of government i cannot change the government i cannot change the system within that as an individual i am sure i can do few things i am only looking that a positive aspect right with that attitude when you do you get lot of energy if system is not good is what keep on telling then you will not enjoy anyway you are in a bad bad bus which the driver is not doing so let us have that uh, as an enjoyment the road is not good there are lot of ups and downs humps and that so it keeps on jumping so what should i do let me enjoy it got it that is what my philosophy that's only what i'm saying otherwise we will waste lot of time in discussing about those people are doing these people are doing that is very good this is very good okay so what ultimately when we come out of this we'll think what do i do i'm saying still i can do a lot of things we are doing a lot of things we will still do that that's only what we are saying right thank you sir yeah. thank you see the other day vijendra came to me immediately went to a um, farm they said they wanted to do some activity i have already planned an activity and then made a flyer and then post it also saying that you think whether it can be done because of covid it could not be done but i don't even wait for a day i have no patience once i start thinking about it immediately i make it into action i say you do it what you can do right so unless we can make something out of it the discussion doesn't make any sense that's only what i'm saying that is what makes me to have lot of programs almost every day i i create when somebody comes with a discussion for long time on the same topic we had long discussion but then i told what we discussed is a very serious matter it is not coming from my brain what i did the social cognitive attitude i can also put it in that way we had long discussion because that was a phd thesis but for them it is a phd thesis for me i understood this is a program which need to be implemented which is in a different context that is from iran but we are in india 
So I said your Iran things cannot happen. Right. So let us take an example from that and then what I learned whether we can implement to think about it lightly more. That's only what I'm saying. So we are all having that social concern. That's why we are here. Otherwise I'm sure we will not be here. Yeah. Thank you sir. Anything to say Isabel? Otherwise we will close it. It's almost 7.30 Yes, hello to all. Uh, in Argentina, uh, teachers earn their salary and do not uh, do not uh, work uh, work little. Uh, in and reality, uh, in America, the North and North America and America South uh, is different. Uh, in uh, countries, uh, uh, Bolivia, uh, Peru, uh, and other uh, uh, countries, uh, is uh, uh, different uh, 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 United States. Uh, uh, or uh, is uh, 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 most uh, primitive uh, education uh, and uh, govern uh, no, uh, don't, uh, uh, don't uh, uh, solutions. Uh, uh, um, uh, no, non solutions. Uh, the the um, uh, uh, God is a uh, um, complicated. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, is uh, very. Uh, for the teacher, the must be individual. Uh, uh, the same uh, uh, and uh, in, edu in education and physical education with me. Uh, it's difficult, it's difficult, uh, because uh, no uh, are control uh, of, the, um, uh, of the physical, uh, uh, only, only um, exercise. Uh, and uh, the teachers uh, don't are conscious uh, the uh, pupils. Uh, or the, um, the body of pupils <laughs> is uh, is uh, real uh, in uh, Argentina, uh, in Argentina and South America, and South America, uh, in um, uh, uh, North America is different. <laughs> Yeah, there are, there are, though we say that the Western is very good, it is not the whole West is very good. If you look at the USA is entirely different, South America is entirely different. The system is different, the education system is different, the style in which they propagate is different. India, yeah, India also has similar problem. You look at only, only cities it is good, when you go out of cities, 80% of the Indians are not even educated today because of these three years COVID. Um, um, most uh, uh, most uh, 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 students uh, of Peru, of uh, Ivian, uh, come to Argentina study in university. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, because in... in uh, your country is no, uh, is uh, uh, bad. No. Yeah, much difficult. Probably, if you look at Africa, it is much worse. We had a lot of interaction yeah. with Africa. A lot of people we started dialoguing these times. No, so we know the difficulties in other parts of the world also. Vijendra, anything you want to say? The last word. We'll close it. Um. Well. Yeah. What? Uh, well, basically, yeah. um, I want to say something. Yeah. 
Okay, um, so basically I, I was in a humanity stream in my first one and first two. Uh, so we were kind of in CBC so that we were the first batch in that school. So we were totally alienated. Uh, so that we were planning our own like a co uh, uh, what, taking away one or two hours per week for uh, learning something else like criminology, farm skills, etc. Uh, so the principal who were supporting us were transferred so that, that we had to drop that plan. So uh, I will talk to the teachers and right now we have a hub humanities hub so that I will discuss with them and let you know uh, is that possible right now. Good. This is what I am saying. See the idea I was talking to people are to find out some practical exact solution where we can implement it. See for example when I was doing an MBA professor's job you know. I found most of the batches, what do they do is, they have got a project to be done. They go to different companies, copy the same thing and then apply it. I told no more such useless projects. Let us go to the ground, identify problems around your village and create a management solution for your problems. We could find 50 children came with 100 problems. I will tell you that is a Bible sort of a thing. In that village, what are all the problems a manager can solve? An educated person, how do they look at practical problems in their world? You can imagine how an academician can change the world, no? So, there are a lot of problems which children can address even today. There, the power of children, even sitting at home in this time is the best time where you can do much, much, much wonderful things. But we are not utilizing it in that matter. That's only what I am saying. So, when Adira says it, that's a positive aspect. Yes. Let us empower. What for? It is only to make them good or give them some knowledge, some input so that they may do better. That's only what we are looking at. Good. Thank you, Madhra. And uh, many appreciating this is a wonderful initiative. Yeah, I told you, know, I don't take it from the heaven. Somebody came with a discussion. I thought that is an Iranian problem. If I ask them to join here, that Iranian problems only will be discussed. So I am doing a replica of that in Indian context and discussing. That's what I am doing. That discussion was over. <laughs> That's done. So I am, I am only using that expertise for this. Otherwise, no, nothing else. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you all of you for joining. Thank you. See, for example, myself and Sanjay is there in some other field. We debate on different things. So I don't want that to happen here. Uh, there, is a, there is a forum which is discussing flat earth. So <laughs> some rubbish idea keep coming and they waste a lot of time on such discussions. So I said, I keep asking, how does it matter to you and me? Uh, there are a lot of people who, 20,000 people are there who is believing earth is flat even today. Right. Which we keep establishing modern science and our traditional knowledge both are matching by saying earth is globe you know and that is what our it is no i know so i keep asking them a question i know who is my father but somebody comes and says i am your father why should i even listen give an ear to him <laughs> if you have a doubt only you should listen right <laughs> so this keeps happening this debate keeps happening okay Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.